come! I'll find another way! Electrical access. Sounds promising. Oh, Pete's got eyes on Scorpion. These guys have no idea who they're letting out. Still here! Promise! Oh, come on, backup power. I'll be here. Sweet! Water's rising. I can't get back the way I came in. The electrical current is powerful in here. Even I can feel it. I can't let it get to that guard. This amount of electricity will fry him alive. I need you to stay away from the water, okay? Drain the excess energy. on Scorpion. Sure. 
I can't let him near my family again. Not after what he did to my dad. I have to protect them. They need me, man. Nothing will happen to your family. Nothing. You got this. I'll be back soon. I've got this. Look out! <laughs> all of them. Spider-Man! Things just went from bad to each river on fire bad. That's... Well, okay. I'm on my way. We'll deal with Scorpion later. How many times I gotta tell you people? Please stay 
with me! First responders are on site now, at least. Police are still fishing, but there's no sign of them. Any luck up river? Nothing but debris. Who are those guys? Whoever they are, they're packing some serious tech. And now they got all that, plus Scorpion and Lee. Hey, whatever they're planning, we'll find them. We'll stop them. Yeah. Pete. When I saw Lee inside that ship, my powers, they... You think his energy got entangled with yours? I don't know, man. But it feels volatile. Wherever Electric Blue came from, it saved the day back there. Hey. We'll put Lee back where he belongs. Promise. Don't leave me hanging. I'm trying to soak over here. Not on my watch. Come on. <laughs> You're too much, man.
Mars. I was getting used to hearing that voicemail of yours. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Hey, Uncle Aaron. What? Too busy to visit your fam? Nah. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Miles. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. Another day, another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authority and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their pension for animal skins. But one thing is abundantly clear. spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind right now. Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costume criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsors.
trying to brand someone? Sorry, nobody's getting branded today. They're out of their mind, Spider-Man. Suffer for your actions. Everybody, down! I quit. Swing you over to an ambulance. They'll fix you right up. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> We're nearly there. Touchdown. They'll take good care of you here. Bless you, Spider-Man. What was the deal with those guys? I felt like they came out of a cult. Better tell Pete about them. You really gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting something? How 
did you... And Miles, that Lee business, don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on for you? How's school? College? Anyone you like? I don't know. So there is something. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. Another gate. Sweet. Can't pull it open from down here. A decent prowler. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Hmm. Got it. You want to finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this.
Listen, this isn't the only stash. Unk. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I don't want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. I wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está tratando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Maybe I can snap a few kicks for Robbie. Fireworks? Better warn those guys they're illegal here without a permit before someone calls the cops on them. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. Something tells me that's not a legit ready, business transaction. Here we come. Deals off. this. Hey! No! Swing you over to an ambulance. They'll fix you right up. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm not too heavy. We're nearly there. And touchdown. They'll take good care of you here. I'm gonna tell everyone in there how much of a good guy you are.
shouldn't tell Ma about how close I got to an almost exploding gas truck. Seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Whoa. Hey, do either one of you guys have a permit for those? Huh? Mike! Mike! He's still breathing, but I'll get him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Ah, where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, but we didn't know. They're there for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved them, so we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Spider-Man? Wow. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, 
Maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call. But watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns. Like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic. I got a bad feeling about today. Two cups of gunpowder seems right for these. Screw it. I'm not making fireworks for babies. Five cups. <laughs> birthday, Lex. Was that you? Oh, man. I hope Mike saw that in the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe.
should have known it'd be Kosis. He's here! Careful where you point that thing! You can stop them, Spider-Man! Duck! You were foolish for coming! my backpack around here somewhere. All right. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. I can't believe Mr. Atlas is going to be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. New reproductive technologies are on the horizon. Check it out on this brochure. We've got preventative contraception information. Please consult your parents and your primary care physician. They'll help you find what's right for you. Yes, those are free. Remember to stay safe. Glad we have people on campus who know about these things. Miles, glad you made it. Oh, hey, Mr. Sinclair. Oh, hmm. I just love seeing all this innovation in action. Oh, have you heard about the chemistry club? They're filling in while Miss Ferguson gets ready to demo the new robotics drone. She's running late. Presentation's on the main stage. Oh, yeah, I'll try to make it over there. Enjoy the show. Thanks. See you around. Morales, the music master. What's up, Delisai? You here to see that university rep, Mr. Atlas? Yeah, definitely. Nice astronomy booth. Thanks. You should stop by later. I made a 3D model of Saturn, but get this. <laughs> it's cake! I'll save you a slice. 
Hmm, thanks. Hey. <sighs> you made it. <sighs> I want to talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? I just heard two words, missing in person. So I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. <laughs> 